Okay, people, welcome to a new video. Let's get right into it. The first reason is that high ISO impacts sharp. Before you say anything or think that I might talk nonsense, crank up your ISO and tell me how it looks. Is it still sharp? When the ISO is high, digital noise is introduced, which can lead to a loss of sharpness and muddiness in the shadows. On the screen, you have two photos, same thing, different ISO. Now, you can tell me which one looks sharper. Second is incorrect focus mode. Now, think you have a moving subject and you're using autofocus single shot. Most likely, it will be blurry. It's so important to choose the right focus mode, otherwise brands would just remove this feature from every camera if no one would need it. For me, they are clearly split into single shot and continuous shot. Single shot used for static things like products, portraits, architecture, studio, you name it. If the subject starts moving or it's already moving, I'll instantly switch to autofocus continuous if it fits just for a wedding walk down the aisle. It's better to focus on the composition and let the autofocus do its own thing. The third one we'll be discussing today is the camera movement and stability. This one comes hand in hand with the last reason that we'll be discussing later on. It matters how you hold the camera and it also matters if you move before you completely push the shutter button. Camera needs to be stable. You shoot stars, you rig the camera to a tripod. You do panning or shoot fast cars, use a monopod or Hold your camera the right way. Four is the optimal aperture selection. Next reason on the list is that lenses have a so-called sweet spot. If the lens can be wide like 2.8, it doesn't mean that the, that's the most sharp aperture. I got a 50 millimeter lens that can be open up to 1.8. That's not the aperture that you'll use in order to have everything sharp in a picture. Here it also needs to be said, that if you want to have a sharp image all over, you would need to have an aperture between 8 and 13. It also depends on the lens, but just to keep it in mind, going to f16 or 22 or even 32 won't make it more sharp. Going that high might impact the depth of field and the curvature of field. We arrived at the last reason, which is slightly what I was saying earlier. As a rule of thumb here, Set the shutter speed at least one over the focal length of the lens. Shooting on a 50mm lens, it means you would need to set the shutter speed for more than one of a 50. If you're shooting on a 200mm lens, you would need to set the shutter speed for more than one of a 200. Then you can also have in mind that shooting handheld with lower than one of a 60th is not quite helping for sharpness as the camera will feel the shakiness from your hand. These were the five reasons and I hope you find value in this. If you did, click the like button and if you want to learn more about lenses, I have a video right here for you. See ya.